Hello, uh, welcome back. Uh, today video uh, will show you how uh, uh, Visual LLM works uh, QN2 uh, 7B and also we'll uh, compare uh, the same test with uh, Florence 2 uh, Visual LLM. And uh, yeah, so this QN2 was uh, Visual LLM was released recently and I did uh, a few tests uh, with uh, different complexity of the documents and uh, the great thing that uh, OCR and also uh, data extraction and data mapping works out of the box uh, so we can uh, ask uh, uh, this visual LLM to retrieve uh, data from the image table and uh, it works uh, well. Uh, well 7b uh, option uh, probably it would not handle complex documents it works fine with the medium complexity documents but uh, I tested through the API uh, uh, 7272B model and uh, it works excellent. Uh, the same level of the quality like ChatGPT probably. Uh, the 72 billion model is not yet available as open source, it's available only through API. But I saw in the notes that uh, it will be available as open source model too. So really looking forward for that. But let's see today how 7b model works this is my example this is the uh, table with financial instruments uh, information and i could type a question here i'm using uh, 7b visual lm q12 and i could say that uh, let's uh, maybe retrieve uh, uh, financial instruments data and uh, I also give the instruction uh, to format response in JSON, like that. So very simp simple request uh, without specifying that I want actually to process the table and I'm not including the uh, list of uh, uh, columns to fetch, uh, nothing like that. And let's see what response will be produced. It runs quite fast, <coughs> around 20 or uh, 30 seconds and let's see yeah it takes maybe a bit longer depends let's see so my idea is that yeah uh, you should produce JSON and this how it works and we get JSON out of the box we don't need in this case any intermediate solution uh, any wrapper which would uh, uh, make sure we should ensure that the response is being uh, translated into JSON. We get JSON just out of the box from the LLM without any proxies, which is great. And it would simplify the overall solution by far. So we get JSON here, we get financial instruments, and this is the response is properly formatted JSON. We get uh, uh, we, we get uh, actually column name automatically identified from uh, from from the image table and which is 100% correct and we get all the data uh, which is also 100% correct so if let's look at the third third line for example uh, this is the unit shares free uh, that's correct then it's uh, quantity <coughs> 2014 currency uh, closing price uh, is correct purchase price is correct profit loss is uh, uh, almost 4% down, which is correctly uh, identified here with the minus sign. Valuation uh, is uh, 213.030, which is also correct. And uh, this valuation is basically total amount for this uh, financial in uh, instrument under this uh, managed portfolio. And uh, th this instrument takes uh, almost 41% of the entire portfolio listed here. So it's almost magic. It works uh, uh, out of the box the same as it would run in ChatGPT, but in this case, this is local model, which you could run on your own environment. Now, uh, let's compare the same test with the Florence 2. Uh, and Florence 2 is a simpler uh, LLM model, which uh, can do OCR, so it would not 
able to map uh, correctly fields uh, with the values, but it, it uh, can do OCR. And one of the uh, options uh, is to return result with OCR result with region. This means uh, besides the raw text, uh, we'll get also coordinates and uh, the model will try to group related uh, uh, texts, uh, related uh, words together to create groups. And we'll get also coordinates for those groups. And let's see, just to understand uh, the uh, performance and how well uh, Q1 to model works. So here, uh, the fields were identified uh, correctly, and probably the grouping was constructed. So uh, if you look into the uh, into the first text here, uh, units black rock, we can see. Uh, it actually ends, uh, it actually takes sentence uh, line by line. So here is the first line ends and then it goes to the second line. So it was not able to uh, understand that uh, this uh, title belongs to the same row. In this case, uh, it, it split it into the two. So there's one thing and uh, Q12 was able to identify such things automatically. So if you compare the first one, first line with uh, with the with this one. Okay, so we get here uh, entire entire text, entire name is being captured uh, automatically by Q12. And another thing, even on this small image, uh, Florence two was not able to process entire image. It's just process uh, up to some point, and then the rest of the data was left. It was not uh, processed well. So clearly, uh, Q12 uh, 7, uh, 7B VLM is uh, amazing. And once we have uh, 72 uh, billion parameter VLM for Q12 available, then uh, we'll be able to handle even complex documents out of the box uh, in most of the cases, I guess. So thanks for watching. And uh, you can go to, to those hanging face spaces. I'll put URL below the video and try yourself with your, with your documents. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.